I'm going to be looking at JJ Redick and his opinions on what it takes to win an NBA championship, which is something that he's never done. Now, the headline of the article, if the ads would actually go away, goodness me. Ugh. Anyways, as I was saying, the Derek Rose, not Derek Rose, JJ Redick claims that, or he believes that there is some luck to winning an NBA championship. And I'm just trying to get the article out here real quick just to, um, just to go ahead and see exactly what he said, because I'm actually very intrigued as to where he thinks the luck comes into, especially with something like, I don't really, it's a little bit concerning. I don't really think it's concerning actually, but I think it's a little bit odd how um, a player who hasn't won a championship is talking about what he thinks like goes into winning a championship. Like, I don't know if that's a little bit odd. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. But essentially, the article continues, uh, it starts off saying Lakers coach J.J. Redick believes luck is one of the key factors involved to winning NBA championships. And I think, before I go into this article, I think the luck factor that he's talking about is your matchups for every single playoff round. Like, it, because yes, it, it, you have to be lucky to make sure that your matchups are, or not, you have to be lucky to have like really really good matchups in the postseason because there are times where you don't end up having good matchups in the postseason in the second round or in the third round or in the NBA finals for that matter assuming that something out of the ordinary completely happens or the other team was able to match up just fine against the team that you were expected to play in the um in the postseason. Like, for example, the Celtics, they were a little bit more confident in beating the Dallas Mavericks as opposed to beating the Denver Nuggets because they had better matchups against the Mavericks as opposed to the matchups that they had against Denver. So, yeah, there is luck in that, but I don't know if that's the reason why J.J. Redick claims that there's luck. So we're going to go ahead and look at this article. So, Lakers put forth their best efforts in the last NBA season and managed to enter the playoffs after winning the play-in tournament. However, their dominance fell short against the Denver Nuggets in the first round of the playoffs. The upcoming season could be different as the Lakers have hired um, J.J. Redick as their new head coach. Fans are expecting better results from the Lakers, and Redick shared his plan for the upcoming NBA season. In a recent interview with um, the, in the Low Post, so the same podcast where he uh, revealed the starting lineup, if you look back at the... This was a quote from Redick. If you look back at the history of the NBA... There are very few championships that have been won where there wasn't. Doc used, the, Doc used to use the word luck, and everybody got mad at him for saying that. But there is some luck involved. When he was talking about luck, that goes into avoiding your star player getting banged up in the playoffs, an outlier hot streak within a certain player in a playoff series. And I do, I, I actually kind of agree with um, the injury aspect of um, the postseason. Like, yes, that does play a little bit of luck. Like, you do have to be lucky that your best player does not get hurt during the regular season and could hinder the overall success of the team in the postseason. Like, that I definitely agree with. And I do, however, think that you aren't... As like it's more lucky in the NFL to win the Super Bowl than it is to win an NBA championship. I think we all can agree on that because the NFL it's a single game elimination, and anything can happen in just one game. Same thing with March Madness. If we want to do basketball basketball comparison, like it's a lot more. There's a lot more luck involved in winning the NCAA championship as supposed to winning the NBA playoffs because the playoffs they are seven game series so chances are the better team is going to win the series almost always and especially in game seven because if you go as far as game seven then that would mean that the teams are evenly matched and chances are in that game seven the best player on the floor is going to win the team the game almost always it almost always happens and when your player isn't the best, when like your team and your best player isn't the best player on the floor, chances are you aren't going to win the series. And 
This is what happened with the Clippers in 2020 in the bubble. They went to Game 7. They That means that the teams are evenly matched, even though you can make the argument that the Clippers should have won in Game 5, Game 6, because they ended up blowing a big lead, or even in Game... Not even not in Game 4, but yes, in Game 5. You can make that argument, sure. But at the end of the day, all that mattered was the Game 7. And Kawhi Leonard was not the best player on the floor. Jokic was the best player on the floor. Kawhi Leonard was also not the second best player on the floor. The second best player was Jamal Murray. And he may not have even been, like, the third best player on the floor if you look at the stats of that game. Like, it was really bad. But chances are the best player is going on the court and the Game 7 is going to win the game. Now, continuing on with what the article said, after a disappointing 2023-2024 NBA season, the Lakers made some vital decisions by firing their entire coaching staff, including Darvin Ham. And after a lengthy search and discussion, they chose J.J. Redick. Now, back on the comments about luck and players getting injured, I guess that would mean that Philadelphia is rather unlucky because in every single postseason that they play in, Joel Embiid gets injured either before the postseason even starts or during the postseason. And when you look at it that way, like, yes, you definitely need to have some luck involved. And even going back to 2021 you can make the argument that the milwaukee bucks got rather lucky because there were so many players that were riddled with injuries in that postseason kevin durant ended up getting james harden ended up getting hurt kyrie ended up getting hurt and several other talented players on each of the respective teams that they were going up against ended up getting hurt and you know that's not something that a lot of it wasn't something that people expected in that year, especially when James Harden, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Durant were on the Nets. A lot of people expected the Nets to come out with that win, but then injury struck. And you know, you can make the argument that it was rather lucky or that it was rather unlucky, and you can make the argument that it was also very, very lucky that Kevin Durant had has ridiculous sized shoes because he stepped on the three point line, which ultimately costed them the series in overtime. And again, like, yes, there is some, you can make the argument that there is some luck involved in some of these series and in matchups and going into playoff series. But is it entirely based on luck? No, not as much as I think luck is based on in the NFL, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like, which one do you think is, um, requires a little bit more luck? Winning the Super Bowl or winning an NBA championship? I'm curious to what you guys have to say about that. But aside from that, that's all that I have to talk about in the in this segment. So now we are going to go ahead and go into the fourth segment, which is probably going to be the most fun segment out of all of them. My boss gave a top gave his best lineups after looking at Austin Reeves um top five lineup. Like, you know, a lineup that he would want to manage. So I'm going to be looking at his um, at his lineup, his reasonings for why he picked each player, and his reasonings for why he didn't pick this one, why he didn't pick that one, because he has a whole list and a whole reasoning as to why. So we're all going to look at that together right after this short break, so be sure to stay tuned for that. For the best and latest podcasts available anywhere, go to the podcast app on your cell phone and type in GSMC. To access free content-rich podcasts on health and wellness, book reviews, sports, entertainment, relationships, social media, movies, technology, finance, and even weird news, subscribe and download the GSMC Podcast Network's family of shows, available everywhere podcasts are found. 